Sights and sounds of desperation from the scene of destruction in Siokimau estate. In less than five minutes, Josephine Mora lost her home, her piece of land, and all her life savings. The situation for Mora is hopeless, so hopeless she says she would rather die than have to deal with the aftermath of the demolitions. <laughs> Matters are made worse as Mora seems to be battling the latest ordeal by herself. Her husband, perhaps unable to deal with losing all his material wealth, has gone missing. <laughs> Cases of homeowners disappearing appear to be the norm in the estate. Yesterday, KTN established that Megwin Degwa, the 35-year-old owner of what was once a luxurious house, is also missing. Ungani is somewhere here. Jumbo is somewhere here. Ungani is somewhere here. Nairobi, Pandemia. Ungani is somewhere here. Now, Najwa, they have not crossed their, this, this fence. Those expected to provide answers have embarked on a blame game. The council cannot approve any development without ownership document, and that is the title deed, and all the due process of going to do such. The municipal council is now blaming the Minister of Lands for what appears to be a shady appropriation of land. Developers who have suffered losses process documents that show the Minister of Lands and Minister James Orengo approved the transactions on the controversial parcel of land. The Kenya Airport Authority, which is behind the demolitions, has claimed ownership of the land and said that the property had been earmarked for expansion of the airport. This is the time now your ministry must be put in thorough scrutiny. This land, we have, I have shown you documentation. These people were issued title deeds. Kenya Airport Authority have their land. How then, as a council, are we not supposed to approve? Efforts to reach officials from the Kenya Airport Authority were futile. The Minister of Land has also remained suspiciously silent over the demolitions. Angel Katusia Katie and Prime.